Um, you're very much a gentleman of understatement, uh, Mr. Travers. Um, we talk about how much shall we talk about contract, how many billion over 10 years? Well, the, the, the value is the best part of a billion pounds for the teenage procurement Thank you. Uh, you talk about, think quite carefully and challenging. Um, we don't even know what the world is going to be like in 10 years' time. How do we write a contract for Barnet Council to take into all the unknowns that might happen in the next 10 years and Barnet Council will still come out ahead? Uh, there's always the concern that we have a rough idea what's going to happen to us in-house, but there's so many outside um, interferences, outside changes, outside effects that could completely change our perception of, um, of the future. How are these going to be carefully considered in writing this, these 10-year contracts? I think, I think the council is looking for uh, partners who can help it manage the challenge of that change. Um, so, so yes, there will be a contract. That contract will be very clear about the commercial terms. It will be very clear about uh, how change can be considered and reflected within that contract. But equally, the council is looking for partners who can help the response to the change and the challenge of that change. But whereas the council is looking for maintenance of quality of service, the contractors who are sharing it with us uh, maybe have slightly different aims from the project. The, well, the, the contractors are being procured against the specification which requires all the things that I have talked about. Um, and, and they will be held to account by the contract for the delivery of those things through the performance indicators uh, and, the <coughs> and the pay performance mechanism which will hold them to account for delivery. Okay. We'll recognise that. It will, be, it will be a success for both the council and the provider is able to respond to those challenges through that 10 year period. Uh, if I can just pick up on a couple of those points uh, before we go into Council Board and then Council Board and then Council Board. Um, I let out contracts myself um, to various customers, and what I love uh, into the contract is the word change or variance, because I know that's, I'm tied in, they're tied into me for their contract. And this is where I can uh, make all my profit and um, um, make up for the low, low price maybe I gave at the beginning. Would you like to comment on that and how we, how we escape from that? Well, that's the normal response to the private sector. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but how are we going to avoid being caught by that? Well, by being absolutely robust. In the way, in the way that we procure the service, and to find, find the best provider, and to have a rigorous contractual framework, a rigorous contract which manages the services as is, that has rigorous procedures for managing change, and then for monitoring the contract very effectively through the life of the contract. And these are all these are all the basic commercial disciplines that any organisation which transacts on the private sector will have. Yes, it's yes, it's a it's significant scale. We all understand that, but, but those basics still apply. But you could recognize.